Right. We are going in the wrong direction. Those are the words from New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell as nearly 80 new coronavirus cases were reported across the city statewide. There are more than 1400 new cases reported. Now we want to say there was no update yesterday because of a planned power outage. So today's numbers are combined with the numbers from yesterday. So we also see the number of people in the hospital continuing to rise though, and those being admitted had been falling until about two weeks ago. Businesses in Jefferson Parish are operating under the watchful eye of parish leaders and a financial incentive to make sure that they're complying with all coronavirus guidelines. As Mike McDaniel explains, a campaign to reward complaint business, compliant rather businesses is part of the plan to stop community spread. We require our employees to wear masks and gloves at all times. Like a lot of businesses in Jefferson Parish. We change out our gloves depending on which station we work in. Bud's Broiler in Metairie is working to make sure it's complying with reopening guidelines. Sometimes I'll be on register. I need to change my gloves to go to the grill. To keep employees and customers safe as concerns grow of spreading coronavirus. We do not want this virus to start running rampant in our community again. Parish President Cynthia Lee Shang says a lot of businesses are doing well with compliance, but others are not. That's why she's asking people to only spend their money at businesses that are complying. If you go into a place and they're not, this business is not doing the standards that we need in this community, walk out and go somewhere else. This campaign of financial influence comes as Jefferson Parish sees a spike in new coronavirus cases, about 100 per day over the last several days. Li Sheng says part of the problem is businesses not following the rules of reopening. The Jefferson Parish Economic Development Commission is even backing the idea in hopes compliant businesses will mean less community spreading. These are not expensive solutions. Mask wearing, hand washing, they're very simple. They're very simple things and they're proven to be effective. Back at Bud's Broiler, only eight tables are available for customers. I'd say our busiest, busiest time is definitely from between 11 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Manager in training Matthew Nuss says even as things constantly change, staying compliant is part of the daily prep work, along with new ways of customer interaction. We have to uh, give them new refill cups. We can't take their cups back behind the thing. And that's something like we've had a lot of new employees lately, and we've had to teach them that each time they've come in. Through serving up compliance, Nuss hopes customers keep serving up business. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. Jefferson Parish set up an anonymous hotline for people to call and report businesses that are not complying with the guidelines. That number is 504-736-6929. You can also submit a form online through the Jefferson Parish government website. That's jeffparish.net.